Hello, I think this is number six, still getting used to it. Number six about Holy Cross Junior School. Well, now I want to talk about the hymns that we sang in the school. And I love the hymns. And when, when I'm going to talk about the hymns, I, I, I just want to say that I, you can believe what you want. And, and when, I, when I might sing them, it's not mocking. It's just that I like them in a special way. Oh, heck, somebody's coming in now. We'll have to wait a bit. But uh, what I remember best was going in the long procession up Peasley Cross to St Anne's in Sutton. It took ages, but we had these big bands and these banners very high. And if it was windy, it was very hard to keep hold of them. And they had these big tassels coming down, which little girls used to carry, one on each side. And some of the fellas, they had a job holding those banners. They could be the Workers' Union, could be the Leeds of Murray, and many more. I can't remember them all, but all, all bits of activities in St. Helens. And then the little girls would throw flowers on the road in front of the Blessed Sacrament. It was really lovely. But we would sing, we would sing all them old songs. In spite of dungeon fire and sword, oh how our hearts beat high with joy when we hear that glorious word. What great hymns they were! And you used to have this drum, and when you sing, in spite of dungeon fire and sword, you used to bang this drum. And you know, I liked it so much. And this was your faith, but even if you weren't a Catholic, you'd love it. And if you sang them songs, you'd become a Catholic. It was just like that. No, I loved it. Now, the thing about those dungeon, fire and sword is that that's what they did to us Catholics in the Middle Ages. They bashed them, and they burnt them, and they tortured them. This is what the Protestants did to us. And and we suffered an awful lot and there was people like Thomas More and I think Samuel Beck and they suffered for the thing but the thing was when the Catholics got in power they did the same thing to the Protestants they tortured them and they bashed them and wherever the Catholics got done to them they did to everybody else it's funny that, you only find that out later on, because we, we as Catholics thought we were the only one who suffered. Anyway, there was other hymns which you would sing, which really stirred the soul. What was it? Hail Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide of the wanderer here below. And all the heart went into it, and they had lovely words. What was it? Thrown on life's surge, as though you were on this sea, and the sea of life, and it really meant something. And the end of that one, it'll be Pray for the wanderer Or pray for the sin Pray for me And we loved it, we really loved it And I think we went up then Right through Peasley Cross Past the hospital Down towards the junction And when you get near, near the railway, the bridge You turned up to St Anne's Sutton and we went up, I always remember going up that hill, I think it was near the railway line, and we go on to the, the field there then, and it was the place of the Passionists, I think there was a blessed Dominic Barbary, and there's a picture in there with the little cross, it was a bit spooky looking, but anyway, he, he was the big sort of saint, he was only blessed then, and that's where I was baptised, I never forgot that, so it was a special place. And then we had all the roundabouts and the races. And my sisters were brilliant at races. Our Joan always used to come in second or third, even first. But I was always second or third from the back. I always thought I was good, but in them races I was no good. But then there was another in. I loved it. I loved all the in. And I'm not mocking. The in to St. Patrick. 
El glorious Saint Patrick, dear Saint of our Isle. It was lovely. And, and the chorus was really good. It was like coming down from a ladder. On the heaven's green valleys, on the heaven's green valleys, on the heaven's green valleys, look down in thy love. It was great. And the thing was about the Irish and the green valleys, a fella told me this. Do you know why all the grass is so green in Ireland? Well, partly because it rains every day. But another one, this fella told me, is because the, all the Irish men and women are going down to other countries and shredding down all their grass so it looks bad. That's why we, it's so green in Ireland. But I'm not going to finish with these ends because I love them. And I'm going to find out some more from my memory. But I hope you enjoyed them and the trip to Peasley Cross and the racing and the day out because they've all gone now. But it was really lovely. Let's see if we can finish off just that one again. Uh, Thrown on life search. Well, we've done that bit. We claim thy care. Save us from peril and from war. Mother of Christ, star of the sea, pray for the wanderer, pray for me. It was great. Okay, we must do another one of the ends because they're so good. See you next time. I think this is number six now, so take it easy. Bye now.